Hi, it's Ian from Rock Fiend Publications Scotland. We're at Winter Storm and we're joined by Everyday Heroes. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome, guys. How are we How doing? Are you doing? You okay, Matt? Yeah, you've not been on yet. No, no. no. Okay. A couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, quite the last. Um, no, we're all quite neurotic, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Uh, Two hours. Yeah, you've played here before, you were here last year. Yeah, last yeah, year, yeah, main yeah, stage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was good, enjoyed your set. Um, and you're a bit of a dodgy boy. Oh, I was voice horrendously ill really. last year. Yeah. We were yeah. talking about it on the way up. Um, we went out on the, the Raz for a few yeah. beers the first night and watched him tucked up in bed with some lem sips. That was a <laughs> mess, was, uh, honestly. It was really nice. Actually, uh, really yeah, nice. it's great, yeah. yeah. Cheers. Yeah, really yeah. Good. Yeah. He powered through, it was great. Uh, well, great. I think I used literally the only voice I had left on that on that day because yeah. as soon as we got off stage, I was coughing my guts up when I got off on the side. Yeah. But the worst thing about it is the fire alarm went off. Then they went yeah, on out. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. we, we were opening the that stage on yeah. that, yeah, opening the stage on that day, and then the fire alarm went off just as I was about to like sing, and I was already cacking myself that I wouldn't be able to sing because of like the chest infection. Yeah. So that just like raised anxiety yeah, yeah. even more. But yeah, we got through it. I'm just glad we're back this year so we can enjoy it. Because yeah, last yeah. year, the boys enjoyed it last year, obviously on the Friday they had a great time. But like, yeah. I, I'm just glad I can enjoy it this year, you know. Yeah, obviously, it's still an event which is fucking freezing your boat again. Yeah. Cold again. Yeah, honestly, every day leading up to this, I've been like, just don't get ill, please. Like, after this, I don't care, like, I can get ill, whatever. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just glad I'm alive for this. Yeah, one. Like, thanks for coming all the way up from Wales, but you guys are in Scotland quite a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last 12 months or so. Second home now, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have picked a further place away to complete um, the fan base, like, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's good. good. Yeah, you did Gala Shields, we have cousins married cousins. <laughs> 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 well, we used to that in the Valley, so it's just a normal, uh, yeah. just a normal time for us. For me, second home, really. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, since, really? since the Dreadnought we started playing at the we played the Dreadnought last year, which is how we ended up on Winterstorm last right. year. Yeah. And then. Um, since then, just a couple of opportunities in Scotland have come up. Luckily, that gig was quite full in the Dreadnought, so yeah. you know we start we pulled a couple of fans from there, and then yeah, yeah it's it's not even that bad to drive up here anymore, is it? Because everyone is it's like an eight-hour drive, but it's yeah. we've done it a couple of times now, so it's yeah, like, used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. used to it. A bit warmer at Hard Rock Ibiza. A bit warmer. Yeah. 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 Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, I still want that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we were in some stage. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was class, like especially. Like at this level, you don't know what it's like to be a rock star. But when you go out there for like a couple of days, because this strip is just taken over by hard rock hell people. Yeah. You know, you expect to go out there and it'd be all like dance and rave and stuff. But it, you walk the strip and it's just full of people in band t-shirts. Rock guys, So yeah, and then you play the gig, so then people get to know you. And then for like three days, you feel like a rock star. You're in a hotel by the pool, yeah. listening to Van Halen, just yeah. singing beers. And then you come home then, and then you just... Yeah. You, reality it's uh, and it's yeah, like yeah. But that's why it was so fun on it because like for a moment it's like oh this is more like band like big bands do in the 80s <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean yeah, yeah, like yeah. you get a little taste of that for a couple of days and it's back to reality then but yeah, it was taste. it was class fair play yeah. you'll get your Vegas residency one day <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. sure. Um, so I've been listening to your, your EPs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so a couple of my favourites is um, Delilah yeah. and yeah. then you have you joined the pantheon of songs about prostitutes with uh, honey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we've got Roxanne, we've got strange kind of women. You got so you guys know some dodgy women. What's that all about? Yeah, we literally just had an interview with another guy who was like, oh, "Do you know what? Like he was talking about the songs that we've released since then. I've been like, "Yeah, your lyrics are really mature now." And then like Kevin is in goes like, "So what are you saying about women on the night?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fairness, I wrote that song when I was about fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> so I had no experience <laughs> of women and I at all. But you know, we were talking about this literally just then. When you're younger and you're writing and you're doing lyrics and stuff, you just you just follow in the footsteps of the people yeah, before you. You write about what you think you have to write. So about I grew up listening to Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, and all this. You know, so like just that that was all I knew. Do you know what I mean? So when I'm 15 in school. Do you know what I mean? The nerdiest kid ever. And I'm talking about whiskey. It's, it was, it's silly, like, it works better now. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, that's why our lyrics have taken a, a drastic turn now. Oh, really? Since Dan's right. taken over the lyrics now. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's almost done, is it? Yeah. 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 Not, not so many prostitutes, no? Not so many, no. no. <laughs> not so many. Good on you. Good on you. So, new album, what's happening then? So, we've got a new themes, new lyrics. 
Yeah, yeah. So um, it's all it's all recorded. It's just in the studio's hands now. They're just finishing up the mixing, mastering, all kind of stuff. So we're just waiting to get it back and then yeah. get the ball rolling with finding PR and all that good stuff. Then so we're looking release window probably on spring next year. Okay. If all goes to plan. Okay. But yeah. yeah. We just want it out now. It's, we've had it for so long. Like yeah. if it weren't. If we didn't have to like do the, the you know the business side of it as in like getting PR and mm. real marketing and stuff like that, as soon as we had it, we would just drop it and be like, "Here it is, yeah. oh, it's finally out." This has been recorded. We've been yeah. doing it. We've been sat on these songs for a while now, so okay. we just want to kind of get them out so people can hear them. Yeah. To the point where we're playing like two or three or four of them instead. Now, okay, so, yeah, just, so, we're, so we're getting yeah. some tonight. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. There'll be a song we've played once before tonight. Okay. We'll yeah. play that tonight okay. as well. So, yes. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it, where, like you said, we've had it for so long now that we just want it out there. But we got to do it right, because mm. the last EP we brought out, we just did it on our own. We didn't have a clue right. how it worked. We were just like, well, just bring an EP out and just everyone will listen to it, wouldn't they? You know, yeah, that's, that's what happens, you know. Yeah. But you don't have to do any real, like, marketing and stuff. And then, so really, to get our last EP, The Other Side of Nowhere, anyway, we've had to travel everywhere mm. just so that people will buy it at gigs and stuff like that and discover yeah. it that way. Whereas this time, we're hoping that, like, if we do things the right way, you know, like the business way again, yeah, yeah. you know, hopefully we'll get more, more traction. More, yeah, more. Pe we can get it into more people's hands, yeah, you know. Yeah. So we've got to get it right rather than just yeah, drop yeah. it against our like instinct, which is yeah. like I said, what we want to do is just get it out there. Sounds good. So it's all going on for you guys then. So you've had a good year. Mm -hmm. You're set up. Um, I was going to ask you. It's first of December tomorrow. It's it's Advent time. Uh, mm. Have you all been good? And what are you asking Santa for for Christmas? <laughs> Lewis is asking yeah. for about a foot of height. I'm asking for a new hairline. I'm asking for a fringe. I am for Christmas this year. <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> yeah, you can swap. I have you. You can have a little bit of height for me, look. Yeah, yeah. Guys, in the middle, you not your nice. Less prostitutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a jet to get back and forth Scotland quicker. Maybe or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> make that eight-hour trip, an hour trip, maybe. Yeah. Just move up here. It's all right. Yeah. 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 True, I can just move up here. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, you guys are on Polestar. We are. Yeah, yes. management. Yeah. Management, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, cool. And uh, as it happens, we've got some other Polestar guys here. Yay! It's the it's the break. Um, <laughs> so you guys haven't met before, but now. No, yeah. Sorry, put that in on your Instagram. Yeah. 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 But it was, it was, it was, it was not our idea. <laughs> 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 we really enjoyed it. That's what happens when our bands drinking water. Yeah, exactly. When our bands drinking. Yeah, lager. Do you fill yeah. by lager full of whiskey yeah, or something? Hold on a second. So, <laughs> so, so what, about, what about you put some <laughs> rum in that water and see how it goes? <laughs> no, no. So, <laughs> no, so no, the, no. the break. This is pre-show, <laughs> that's why. Yeah. I'm going to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be sat there. That would have been the best pre-show. Yeah, yeah. We didn't drink before we drank. It's a before and after. So you guys in the break are allowed to ask our friends, the heroes here, one question, <laughs> one question only. Oh, yes. One question. It should be you, I reckon. Oh, if, unfortunately, I think there's only one question to be asked, really. Isn't After the day we've had. That's very true. Yeah. You guys ever been bitten by a horse? How did you manage that? Good question. Yeah, that's that's the right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were actually. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen it. Do not from the question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where did the horse bite you? On the hand. Oh, right. oh, oh my god. god. Honestly, like, I had that happy You can't see our hand. Although, I will point out, it wasn't a horse, it was a Shetland pony. Fuck so. <laughs> 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 Over the fence, like, beat me down to the floor. There was 18 of them. Right, they were like sharp teeth. Not how it went down. You they, they, that they've ripped all the flesh off my body. It's going back now, you can see. Let, let's see, <laughs> let's see, like six foot seven, the horse is one foot. Some was baby yeah, out. jump and beat you. They're making out. I'll show you the video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the sun was baby out, uh, you crept up on it. Yeah, I can't, well, I can't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually where Henny comes from. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I didn't buy anything. 
platform a dog bite, probably? Yeah. Oh, the night isn't yeah. over yet. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 We're going into town later. Yeah. 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 from Norfolk before. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's only fair you guys get to ask the guys from the brink one question and one question. Oh, this one's oh. prepared. It's alright. Yeah, we did ask that. Why did the horse bite you? What were you doing to that horse? I think that was Long story short, I had to pull his trousers up and. There was an alpaca involved as well. There was an horse, an alpaca, and me. Oh wow! The alpaca was shaving like an orphan. We were filming this. That's like a bad joke, doesn't it? So this is all we did. We went out for breakfast. Not me, the horse, and the alpaca. I wish they heard that. That was a great. That was a great joke. It says how the title leaves solo album. Horse and alpaca. Did you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> you buy it the time. No, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not even slightly. I'm not asking you. <laughs> so, uh, so this is what it's like when you're managed by Polestar. <laughs> yes, <yeah. laughs> Happy days. Let's, let's wrap it up here on yeah. camera. But uh, the night is young. You guys enjoy your set. That'll be brilliant. You guys will be watching them. Yes. Oh, 100%. Uh, it's uh, Saturday night party on, dudes. Yeah. Happy yeah. days. Yeah, Thank you. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.